this among us do. I'm loyal to my dog like he Marmaduke, and I'm taking a shot like Ciroc for you. Said I'm loyal to my dog like he Marmaduke, and I'm taking a shot like Ciroc for you. This is the channel of Noodleton. We dropping bombs, yeah, we noking them. Feel like a tank, how we shooting them. Sound like a movie, no cinema. This rated R ain't no Disney Plus. Subscribe to the channel, let's run it up. Now that you here, boy, you one of us. It's a Pokemon race, how we run them up. This is the channel of Noodleton. We dropping bombs, yeah, we noking them. Feel like a tank, how we shooting them. Sound like a movie, no cinema. This rated R ain't no Disney Plus. Subscribe to the channel, let's run it up. Now that you here, boy, you one of us. It's a Pokemon race, how we run them up. Hello everyone, today we got Calamity uh, in a League One semifinals in the tournament. Uh, it's going to be between Decoy versus One. Um, got Tubbins with me as always. Well, welcome Tubbins. Yeah, glad to be here. This should be a really good match. I think we're just waiting on everybody to uh, pack in here. <clears throat> yeah, we're just waiting on a few, uh, a few Decoy people, but we wanted to go ahead and get the stream up. Um, could potentially be a long stream today, so uh, be ready for that. This is best of 11 for the semifinals. Uh, so first the six victories takes the takes the victory here, um, and the winner of this actually moves on to play Immortals in A uh, for the championship. So pretty excited. Yeah, it should be good. I think these are pretty evenly matched teams. Yeah, we'll say. Well, hopefully, hopefully Deco gets some people in here. Yeah, uh, I was about to say. They I mean, usually uh, <laughs> run, they usually kind of do this. A lot of teams kind of do this. Drives me insane as you know, whole elite over clan people show up. You know, right on the dot, but. That's the nature of the beast. Um, so we do already have the bands in. Uh, one's going to ban the, their map ban as Stets, um, and Dequay is going to ban uh, Malinovka. So that's out of the way anyway. Yeah, one's home team. They picked Himmelsdorf, and I don't know who watched or saw, but these guys played actually in week one of this tournament, which I guess is, what, two months ago? And uh, Roughly, yeah. Yeah, one actually beat them 4-0, and they looked really, really good on Himmelsdorf. They uh, they played pretty aggressive pretty fast, and they really caught Decoy with, like, uh, I guess you would say, you know, their pants down, in a sense. Right. So it would be interesting to see uh, how they kind of play this, if there's a change of style or if they, uh, they try to keep up with what worked last time, because pretty interesting to see last time. I didn't really see that 4-0 coming, but... Obviously, this time I have a feeling we're probably going to be in for a longer series. Yeah, we're going to be in for no series. Nobody gets in his room. Yeah, I mean, you know, they could they could not have the players. We don't know. Um, I mean, they're talking in the chat. It looks like we're good to go. They're just getting them in here. But yeah, definitely. I mean, both teams are so evenly matched. I feel like this isn't going to be a six zero. You know, I wouldn't think so. I've seen crazy good things happen. I mean, you never know. I have a feeling people probably will probably be here for a little bit of time. No. I mean, I enjoy it. You know, I like these. Um, I, I like these long matchups. You know, it gives uh, gives each team multiple chances to play multiple maps. Um, I think it's better for for the show. You know, uh, more matches. You know, uh, oh, first yeah, of four's first of four's okay. You're right. I, there's nothing really wrong with it, but I I rather enjoy these longer ones. I mean, it depends. You know. I can see, I mean, the long, like, like the, uh, I think the finals even go up more. So you're really going to, you know, each team, I think, is going to ban one map. And you're pretty much going to play all the maps. All the maps, yeah. That length. Yeah, but, you know, these, uh, once you kind of get into semifinals, like this is two versus three, you usually see a pretty even matchup here, you know, two versus three. So, you know, these, these are usually the games to watch. This is also, you know, where I think anybody who's been necessarily hiding something or working on something you haven't seen before, or, you know, new ideas to try to catch people off guard this is usually the match you see because you, you're not you're not keeping anything in your back pocket anymore yeah you for sure win. but you know one one does the 
Gotta say has an advantage. They get to pick, you know, their map first. So we'll see if that plays in. But it just looks like one's got a little bit of a different roster than the first time these guys played. We saw a lot more kind of EU guys the first time these guys played, and I think this is uh, kind of mixed, a little bit more mixed, if not anything, a couple more NA guys. So, so we'll see. Give me just one minute. Our delay's catching up, so I got to rearrange a couple things and get our prediction started. I don't really oh, know. Yeah. Uh, I don't really know who I'm going to predict with here, man. I mean, uh, you know, this is going to be a tough one. Um, But I'm gonna. Sh I, I I think I'm just gonna put all my eggs in the basket for decoy here. I'm gonna wait until I see everybody who gets in the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, I've played against these. You know, these teams a lot. I I mean, I really think this is pretty evenly. You know, it's kind of weird. I really feel like a lot of the top teams in this that are that are playing comp right now are very very evenly matched. Like you know, like last time we saw decoy beat one, but like a couple weeks ago in CTW decoy. You know, ended up beating one. I mean, one beat decoy. I think I said it backwards. So like, you know, like the last two times these guys, every time these guys play, it's kind of like they beat them and they beat them. And I, you know, I feel like it's the same with us versus decoy and one. It's kind of back and forth, right? Right. You know, it's kind of just how it goes that day. You know, one guy has an off day, things have off days. You know, one of them you played before. You know, they played against Sin, and that was a super close match too. Too kind of weird rules in that where you know you only played it two, right? Um, so. I feel I feel like everybody's pretty much around the same the same thing, and I think the uh, the one advantage I think one would actually have here if this was actually a shorter series, being the home team, because the longer the series, the less your your map picks I think come into play, right? Right. Um, depending on who you play. I mean, decoy. I've seen decoy, you know, down 0-3, and it doesn't seem to phase them, right? If this was a team that I felt maybe got tilted a little bit, being down, you know, by a couple matches. I think that could, you know, play a bigger thing. But decoy, for whatever reason, it's it doesn't matter what they're down. They they just keep on playing. It doesn't phase them at all. So, we'll see. But I will say, I don't think decoy wants to get off to a slow start like they have been doing lately. Yeah, one start in a pack in. I think they got out. Uh, Sick Desires and Santi are definitely guys that definitely start for the EU. They're very good players. So, guess we'll let this prediction sort of, run for 30 minutes, considering uh, it's probably going to be a long one. What, who's going to win? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess you can go that long. That's pretty long, you know, for teams nah. that are 3 I feel like you give them the money. but I think, uh, I, I don't I think we're going to have that problem here. Anyway, yeah, so yeah, yeah, really yeah. Cares, right? Well, actually... Those uh those channel points in my stream anyway can get you um, items in the game. So oh, it's real they? it's real money out of my pocket. Oh. Well, you probably shouldn't tell people that then. Ah, they're there for a reason. I know, I was joking. Good joke. Sure. It's that's a lot of cool, points though. though. It's a lot of points. Yeah, that that's that's kind of interesting because usually see I know on Gambit stream I do the predictions and I always you know. Bust his balls, where are my points, where are my points? But I can't get anything with his points. So yeah, like, yeah. That's a joke. I'll stay all over him about it. All right, so I got that done. Let me go back to the Discord and take a peek. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure this is one's map pick here. Um, yeah, this is one's. Yeah, because of their home team. team. Yeah. It looks like they're going. I'm surprised we don't see uh, Mega D from um, Decoy. It looks, like, it looks like Decoy's down a couple of stars. Obviously, Gambit, the leader of the Kohler, is in here. Yeah, them not lot, having Gambit's a little weird. And they, don't, they don't have Mega D, and uh, I know Electrocity, is that how you say his name, started playing for them. I don't yep. see him either, but I'm not sure if he's on the roster for this. It looks like we're going to get right into this and play. Man, they're catching me off guard. I wasn't expecting this to go this fast. Yeah, they're picking but, quick, man. Should be getting going. I'm just... I just pulled the Discord and all my stuff. Right, they called me off guard. Usually we got, usually we're in for like ten minutes. I feel like. Little, uh, pretty. I would say pretty standard lineups. I remember, you know, when one played in the first time, they had a lot of VZs. That's what kind of caught them off guard. It doesn't seem like they're going that that heavy here, but 
Yeah, I was going to say, I think they're the ones that did the VZ thing, yeah. Yeah, they were. Uh, We'll get right into it. Yeah, they ended up reverse pushing the hell on uh, Decoy, and Decoy just didn't see it coming. But either way, on the side of Decoy, we got a QL, two Type 5s, IS7, 250Bs, E4, standard, pretty metal lineup, whatever you want to call it. On the side of one, a VZ, two Type 5s, IS7, two IS4s, and an E4, same kind of thing. So, we'll see how they line up, and... uh, See what we do here. Now, I will say, I think uh, watching one in the last and playing against one a little bit, they have seemed to get maybe a little bit more passive and kind of taking the approach that most teams kind of think. You know, take away the angles and play, but. So, yeah, they're going pretty. It looks like they're just going to send an IS4, two type fives over there to the B cap, and they're going to put a guy at B2 and an IS7, and you got C3 with the VZ, and the E4 is going to spot the cross. They so usually spot it from the other side but i guess that could work too that's probably the same thing yeah it'll work and uh yeah decoy is uh really making sure that they're not going to reverse push the hill but the lineup should show you that they're not going to do that they got a 250 bs and e4 on top of the hill i'll honestly say that maybe that's a little bit of overkill but they're really trying to make sure that it's not going to happen i don't think they're going to reverse push the hill with two type five heavies but who knows I don't even think anybody's been spotted. Usually you see the kind of QL from where Decoy is maybe in the other window to kind of spot C3, kind of see what's over there. But this is pretty much, I'm going to say, nobody's really going to be doing too much of uh, nothing for a little while. Well, I mean, Wheezy's down here blowing everything up. I, I'm not real sure if that gives you a spotting advantage, but maybe. I mean, I mean maybe he knows something I don't hear. Well, the thing is, if you... You want to be able to, to shoot underneath everything, I guess. I don't know if blowing up the train cars like he is really is going to... Yeah, I don't know. But, but he's definitely committed I mean, to doing it. I mean, I, w- I will say that those poles on this side of Himmeldorf are are terrible because they block heat and they block APCR. They're just For objects. Sure. And uh, that's super, super annoying. Oh, we got you Jester spotted the pity. Yep. Yeah. Weezy did get spotted, but I mean, you probably know he's there anyway. Yeah. And it, yeah, this is pretty much this is pretty much standard. Um curious to see if he spot he does spot the types there. Yeah, but I mean you're gonna see that. Well, yeah, I, but I that's a know. that's a pretty early spot, man. I think blowing up those cars actually uh Yeah, I mean I don't know the uh the IS four and a type five and all that all that view range. Typically now, you don't get spotted see, there. I don't know if they're giving him the window to shoot him through. You see the shots coming through the window? Yeah. Yeah, they're not going to be able to hit him now. So it looks like Wheezy's kind of wised up to that. But if they're, they are some way able to get these Type 5s down, I think the Type 5s will be able to get this, this IS-4 out. Kind of interesting. I would have liked to see maybe Decoy kind of bring the E4 there. Like, I, I don't... I don't think the E4 is really going. Like, you got 250Bs. You know by their lineup they're not going to reverse push. Out. I would like to see the E4 kind of go somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe on the bottom. Maybe dig that guy out. Maybe move to the left of the QL or something. But that's that's my personal preference. Because I'm going to be honest. Decoy is wasting a lot of time here. Yeah, right? but like, uh, look, man. These types are stuck. You they don't can't, have to rush it. They can't make this cross. They're gonna, they'll just bleed way too much. Yeah, they're going to go ahead and turn around. I mean, well, I mean, this may change if them getting this uh, size seven like up. The the E four the E four can't can't stay there. The other thing is like he's spotted, right? The other thing is is that maybe that like I said, all those poles and everything being hump, it's not it's not hard to hit. You're gonna get some shots in on Koza here. Did he pin that? No, he did not. No. no. So, you know, the IS seven and the VZ and and. You know, I don't think it would be as much damage as maybe you think with the poles and them getting across, right? But if you're gonna play this side, you know, reform Wizzy's gotta go. But I do like the position that Super D did take here. This is this yeah. is a really strong position to keep them spotted. And and, and, and he may open up the door for the types to finally make a cross. We'll just see how this plays. Well, what uh, well, I say game, but what Decoy used to do, they actually kind of used to put a mouse where Super D is. And then they used to shove the mouse into C3. I'm going to be honest with you. It's super annoying when a mouse just gets shoved in your face. And you're trying to play that window. Yeah. You know? Yeah, so. But I feel like, you know, them only having two tanks kind of on the one and three on the hill. Like, they didn't get any any punish from the hill. 
but like you know they dedicated three tanks to the hill not only did it not get punished i think the types are just going to go here they did take a shot from whoever was in the window i forgot the tank i7 yeah, e4 did not mess. pin all right so they ate it like i said not 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 terrible yeah it's not I, bad I the e4s not. missed both the shots that, yeah, I think I think that's acceptable damage to take. I would still sure. would have loved to see the E4 over there, right? Because the E4 can pin an IS pretty easily. Ooh, Ooh that's a that was a good one, yeah. yeah. But like you know, like I said, like if they had the E4 down that line, that's maybe another extra 800 damage. But we'll see what they're gonna do. What's interesting is that one is one is very very quick when you make a move that they come back and make a move, and. The E4 pinned the Type 5 on Banana, and the Type 5 just slapped him and set him on fire. Absolutely just slapped him in the face for over 900. He is taking damage from Super D. That is a good angle for Super D. That is a good pull for Super D to take. He's going to let Desires know that he can't go anywhere. Reform Wizzy is also on 100 HP. At the E1 spot, he should be going down once the types reload. Yeah, Dodger hopefully Blue here. did make did make the rotation in his IS-7 to kind of go and watch that line there, but I think him pinning types in an IS-4. IS-7 and being able to stay on spot isn't worth it. Reform was he to go down, right? Well, this is kind of a lot to watch this whole map like it this. It is, it is, yeah. Pretty quick. But they're getting short on time, too. I mean, they're going to have to really kind of yeah, push the pressure they, here. Yeah, they, they wait. Decoy waits a long time, and that's just kind of what they do, right? But um, I was going to say, you know, I would like to see the E4 down there again, and then he hit the then he hit the Type 5, and I was like, okay, that's pretty good, and then he got set on fire, and I said, oh, it's not Dips down like to a one-shot over here. Yeah, he's he's eating it like this. That was a bad. I think I think you kind of wait to punish them when they have to go for resets and let them shoot or something. Like, he just really lost that trade. You know, he's down 1,700 health. He probably did about 1,600 health. The thing is, training with types, you got more. It looks like Bob actually took a big shot, too, probably from the E4. Um, see, the problem is here. You need another tank to cap. Right? They're gonna get. They're gonna get butt shots here. They may be able to get Jester clipped out. Oh no, Jester's Jester's full down here. They were Somebody able to get died. the type. The type did. Yeah. They're just gonna go for the type. I mean, Jester's full down here. Oh, they don't have anybody watching back. Fifty Bs have got to got to make this happen. They do. They're making it happen. The yeah, but they're on reload. Can apply cap pressure. They can apply cap pressure. Good. Another another yeah. kill. Okay. Yeah. Dip oh, came around and got him. Really. Really did a good job right there, actually. Yeah, I'm very... not gonna lie to you guys. I forgot about the the uh, two um, 50 bees on the hill. I would like to see the 50 b 50 bees apply double cap pressure. Use both caps. You're up three tanks. Why not make it? You know, make it happen. Like instead of trying to pin the size for a hold down on your 50 b, just make him come in. He's got to play. They're gonna flank him anyway to QL and the E4. Now, if, oh, there's three of them here. The Jester's kind of in a world of hurt. I don't know about ramming an IS-4 and blocking your teammate shots there, Saucer. Airstorm coming in behind. He got Koz out. The shot. Yeah, Decoy done a really, like, a really good job with the really rotations good. here. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, just honestly, one really... They stayed on Banana so long. Yeah, they were really left static. the 50 Bs kind of do that to them, right? You know, where... I think adjustment will come, but... Blanks has just got to hit. Blanks just got to reload. He, he's going to beat the BZ's reload. He should be able to kill him. And then you just got an IS-7 to deal with. Who's kind of just been running around the whole map. So I'm not going to lie. If you would have asked me three minutes ago how this is going to play out, I wouldn't have said this. I didn't think that this was going to go into that big of a favor. Boy. And uh, it looks like Super D bailed him out. He yeah. missed his shot. Blanks, but... And that's, that's going to be it for Dive Blue. First round to Decoy, and I will say, uh, very, very convincing. Yeah. Very convincing than I thought it was going to be. Like, those those 50 Bs were able to pump. Super well but played. I will, yeah, I'll go on the uh, side of Decoy. I'll give you the side of one. So on the side of Decoy, <laughs> you got Airstorm, two kills, 3,900 damage. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot from a 50 B. You know, even when they got two Type 5s, he didn't need anything. Both Type 5s, uh, Bob was able to do one kill. 3,400 damage. The other Type 5 was able to, even though he missed that shot, and 2,900 damage. For them just being on the one line and going down the one line across four tanks. Yeah, they did good. Much damage. Honestly, that's pretty proud. Diffs, who I gave, uh, who I really would like to see off the hill, at the end of the day, stayed alive, got a kill, did 2,600 damage. Super D, who went into that, that position that kind of made them play. 2,400 damage really played by him. The other 50B on the hill, two kills, 1,200 damage, and then, uh, 
the QL. Really not able to get anything done, but he kind of, I guess, was just kind of using the vision. He probably was able to spot the type coming down. So He was, yeah. I, I mean, hundred damage to him. His and, position uh, was needed. You. Yep, over on one side, we got Jester in the IS-4 with 22.98. Uh, we got Dodger Blue below him in the IS-7 with 19.51. Six desires in the Type 5, 17.46. Uh, Just in the Type 5 with 1276. Saint in the VZ with one kill, 1251. Uh, Reform Wheezy in the IS-4 with 1228. And Kaza rounding it out in the E4 with uh, 795. 15 shots fired, one pin. I'd, I'd never actually seen him blind firing that much. Um, Maybe he wasn't the hill. I, I wasn't. Hard I mean, to watch. I wasn't really like, like, yeah, there was so much going on. I mean. I mean, at the end of the day, I really don't put too much on those stats because people do blind fire and things happen. The other thing is, is that, like I said, with the with the pulls and everything coming down, when like when they kind of mega D's just entered the room, but when they kind of come down that cross, it's harder than you think to punish those guys. You know, I've played that spot a gazillion times at C4, and uh, you got to kind of rate for the right moment. And Type Fives, honestly, uh, kind of like the Avery in a sense, like you think you're gonna pin them and then yeah. you don't. And then sometimes you don't think you're going to pin him, and you do. <laughs> so it's well, just it is what it is. Welcome to World you know, of the Tanks. One, the one thing that yeah, the one thing that that did impress me with one that you know watching them play is they run a lot of VZs, and the VZ doesn't have you know a high pin. That's why I was so questionable when they kind of took it the first time they played. Like they have two VZs here, but I'm not going to lie to you, man. They, they pin their they shots. Pin them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they pin their shots, and that makes all the difference. Like you put me in a VZ on Himmelsdorf, I'm not doing that. So I mean. If you can make it work, it's deadly. It's know, tough, but... man, yeah. Yeah, but I think I think uh, one kind of on that time, like I, I feel like a strength of decoy is, is if you let them use the whole time, you use the whole clock, you do not really rotate your tanks right that that quickly on the high doors. They, uh, they know. They know they play a lot. They they do know how to beat it. So, you know, they, that was just a typical standard defense set of one in the uh, – I think kind of paid the price for it, but we'll see here if one's got a kind of different attack. On the side of one, we got three QLs, two VZs, Chieftain E4. That's that's no Type 5s. That's something you don't see every day, so I'm assuming one has a plan. Decoy probably knows that. And then on the side of Decoy, we actually got a 113, two Type 5s, IS4, 250Bs, and E3. 250Bs on defense, a little bit diff. Well, I guess not really. I kind of just put it at A0, but I figured that's kind of good for uh decoy because they don't have to worry about you know 50 bees getting hit by types yeah the lineup out of one here is it, it, we're definitely going to see something we don't normally see yeah i mean one did a one did a really good job last time at you know coming like down the five and coming down banana and then they left the guy down the five to kind of farm as people kind of tried to get behind them right and that's what really threw them off guard but you see uh Decoy coming out here. They have a 50B go. He's it looks like he's gonna stop there. Uh, the IS4 is gonna go to A5. Probably the types are probably gonna go down the A line. And they're dedicating three tanks um, to kind of guard B. They're gonna have the 50B. It looks like they're gonna double. Are they gonna double? No. Okay. They're taking Super D in the 113. They're gonna go to. Uh, they're gonna go down here to the buildings. You know, the, the building that we kind of call the, the penis-shaped building down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but one's doing it. This is kind of what they did last time. But the the problem with this is they're spotted. And let's see how Decoy reacts to this. And oh, good shot coming from the D. hill. Yeah, yeah. Well, Super D had to turn around. Maybe you could have did that a little bit more carefully. But I think, you know, when you see that, maybe you kind of just, hey, I got to get back. I got to get back. You know, so. This guy on the and hill is like putting in work. Just got hit. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, that that's kind of a weird angle to be, you know, um, for the types because you can get shot there, and uh, you know, Weezy knows that he just pumped them. Good start for one. I'll be honest with you. Good start for one. They kind of made. It looks like they kind of like bake rushed it a little bit, and decoy kind of panicked a little bit. They gave him a little bit of help. They kind of know where the tanks are. Playing super aggressive. Like, you don't see every day a VZ less than two minutes in where, like, Desires is on, um... On yeah, it, with, yeah you know, it's yeah, aggressive, for sure. They're just all over the place. Now, what's kind of interesting is that I don't know if they know, like, the Q, if Decoy knows the QL is here. But they could, you know, bring the types another grid over and really just, just hit this guy with HG. 
you know, if they knew he was there, I don't know what they know. But it looks like Decoy is kind of just trying to hold strong. But this is kind of the thing, you know, I think this is what hurt Decoy last round. They kind of stayed, right, and let the other team rotate. But maybe they feel that uh, one necessarily can't do that to them. I mean, I would say that a straight-up brawl fight probably favors Decoy with the lineups, you know. Two bigger clip auto loaders, opposed to, you know, just they're going to hand out a thousand damage. The other one's going to hand out 16. Two type 5 heavies, that's a lot more health. So, we will see. Reform Weezy is getting some shots. I mean, he's bounced the last Did he get couple. But, one? No, but he they're they're giving him shots. He just he's bounced a couple. He I mean Yeah, they're, but they're gonna have to be so careful long, here. there's only so many shots an E4 is gonna bounce. Yeah, I know. You know, like I'm pretty sure Weezy's W and eight is probably double mine, so I doubt it's gonna bounce that much. Yeah, decoy's gonna have to be really careful here though. I mean they I think that's the fourth time they've exposed to him. That's why it's kind of interesting. You'd think they would just kind of fall back out of that, but maybe there's a reason they really want to hold that. I think, if I'm being honest with you, I think... Blink took a shot in the butt. Played, I, think, I think they're worried about the five line too much. I mean, you know, as it stands, like Decoy, even because they came with so much more health, even though them bleeding this health, Roll starts. They're only down 400 health. It's not. It's not the. It's not that big of a deal. But every you know, when you play against teams that are relatively close, a pin here and a pin there at the end of the game really does make all the difference. You know, like sometimes when we play other top teams, I'm like, man, we just lost by 800 hit points. For sure, yeah. Because you know, Monkabot bounced two shots. You know, which sometimes I'm the Monkabot, but just how it goes. Every, every you know everything matters i'm seeing pings but i don't remember what side of the room i was on no oh, i don't i don't i think i'm pretty sure oh i don't i don't think they swamped us so we were on decoys side the first round so we should be on one side right so yeah i don't I would remember assume you're probably seeing ones but i also don't know if they swapped us too but i don't know why they would unless they just hit swap teams which they probably did so who knows which is a nice feature to the game give a little shout out to wargamer for that it makes things a lot easier yeah for sure you know? a little uh, static here i mean good. one's just been going for bleeds which you know they've kind of done successfully um you know they're running the clock down I, I would i would assume we're seeing their pings and we're about to start seeing some rotations here well you might be seeing pings i ain't seeing nothing uh, so, see, that's weird, and I know we're on the same oh, side. Oh, there's a ping. Did you just see C7? No, no, I didn't. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that's, that's weird. One. See, the thing is, is that what's kind of interesting here is that, like, decoy is set up to, to counter C7 and the 5, right? So I don't think that's where you go, right? Like, if you look at decoy's lineup, like, you well, got, you should One's really making a move. Yeah, but the thing is, like, you should be looking to want to play the A cap. You got a guy you already bled. It's a 113 at E1, right? You know where all the Type 5s are, right? Like, they got, you know, two Type 5s. They're and going in. They are not fast tanks, right? They can rotate the 50Bs fast to, to the one line, but I think the play for one was really the thing. And they're coming down the 5 just like they did last time, and I think Decoy was set up for this. I really do, I too. This is why they set up this way. Oh, causes take it. Oh, causes, causes out. out. He gets deleted. A lot of bounce really shots. Too much. Yeah, a little bit too much. Dips has got to get in there with the E3. Back up, Snowball. Get your reload. Musket just went on fire, and he's getting shot by a minigun. Yeah, they're now they're all getting in the hole. The e4. The idols in e4 are going to have to win the 2v3, I think, to bring this back. That's a big hit out of... Oh, and they shot him through the window. They shot another guy through the window. It looks like Decoy just... I am really, uh, decoys really should be able to wrap this up. They got these VZs yeah. absolutely trapped. There's not enough DPM in the VZs. They're getting shot through the window. Idols in the E4 just can't kill three tanks fast enough. Mega D's coming in, I believe. I don't know if he rammed that guy or got it, but he's in a, he's in a chieftain's face. He can kill idols. He actually is getting now flanked by Bob Snowball. This is pretty much a GG wrap. I'm really interested. Like, I don't, 
I don't. I'm really confused by that call by one. If I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, like, it is weird. Like I kind of said before, like they were able to catch decoy off guard by coming to the five the first time that they played, and you saw where the types five were, were right. So like they're set up to stop the five and stop stop the inside B cap. You know that, right? Like that's how that whole defense was set up was to purposely stop those two lines. Yeah, it's right? odd like, they that they decided to go for it there. Yeah, but I mean, like, even the E4 and the Chieftain could have came down the A and got behind them, right? Like, I'm I'm really confused by that call. I think I think you had, you know, you see that that whole defense was stopped to stop that. For sure. And you pushed into that, and I just, I don't get that. If I'm being honest. I mean, maybe I'm being too critical. It's obviously no, 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 no. Little, I mean, it was a little bit different. It, it it's wasn't a like they didn't. Things. Well, but yeah, but see, now we know when people are spotted, right? So it's not like. It's not like we were in question on whether or not one, you know, had the knowledge of who was where, what, right? Like they knew who, they knew where all a decoy was, you know. It, it it was a weird play. It was a weird play for sure. Yeah. But I mean, also, you know, usually like, like you know, as a as a caller, I only say this, and I'm definitely not the best caller, but I will say this: like, if I catch you know decoy or a team like one out or whoever I catch out, you know, like if something worked once, it's probably not going to work. Two months later, because the team wises up to it, right? For sure. You know, it looks like Decoy took mines here, which is an interesting pick by Decoy. I do not see them pick mines a lot. Um, but I'll go over the I would say uh, one's pick kind of, kind of backfired there, but we got a long series here. Yeah, I'll go over the scores. Um, I, I think you backed out, right? Oh, yeah, I'm gone. All right, so we got Mega D in the eyes, four from Decoy, two kills, 3,000 damage. Pretty good game. Shoot blanks in the uh, tight five, almost at IS five, uh, two kills, 27.59. Dip in the E3 with one kill, 24-39. Papa Snow Dog in the 50B with one kill, 22-26. He actually went on a flank. I think he he probably missed out on some damage with that. Uh, Airstorm, AMX 50B, two, oh, no, just 2,000 damage. Uh, Bob in the Type 5 with one kill, 1731. And Super D rounded it out in the 113 with 889. Over uh, on the Papa one. Papa Snow Dog got low. That's why he flanked. It was actually a good play. Yeah, yeah. Over on the one side, we got Reform Wizzy, which was on the Hill Farming uh, early game, E4, 3279. Dodger Blue in the VZ55, 1749. Idol in the Chieftain with 1569. Sick Desires in the VZ with one kill. Um, oh, their only kill, 1430. Kaza in the QL with 597. Saint in the QL with 514. And Just in the QL with 453. So the QLs were only able to deal out one shot each. Yeah, they well the first QL literally just got deleted. Yeah, super fast. Oh, I got back just in time. They launched immediately. Holy cow! Oh, looks like we'll get right into this one, too. And on the uh, side of one, we got two VZs, a Chieftain, three CSs, and a Thrawn. On the side of Decoy, we got a QL, two machines, three CSs, and a Thrawn. Be interesting to see if Decoy pushes the hill here with this lineup. I mean, they could. I don't know. They kind of got a, a weird spawn with two CSs and a machine, but they're going to yeah. go for it anyway. Yeah, I mean, you know, one's going. This is gonna, just going to be a brawl. A big brawl. Yeah. They commit to it. Yep, they're committing. Oh, uh, Saucer's got to go. Is he going to block his team? He's getting no damage off either. I don't really like that play by, by the machine to stay there, but it might work out anyway. They got a 3v1 over here. They're going to have to kill idols before the other two CSs go. Problem here for decoy is you just bled damage. Kind of need to get up, and it's going to be tough for them to get desires in the back. It looks like Dodger Blue just went right in there into Bob. Bob's one. Bob's, Bob's gone. Yeah, Decoy's losing the they hill might here. might be able to get Dodger Blue here, but then Super D's gone. Really good focus and really good pin and shots by one on top of that hill. For sure. I'm going to be honest, that was really good. I, I would have liked to see the Saucer guy commit to that hill and make sure his mediums didn't lose. The VZs weren't going to have enough speed to get right up there. Even if you wanted to leave kind of one machine back in the QL to farm if they tried to push up both VZs or a VZ, you do it. But I, I think Saucer needed to go. He was up there way too early, did not do enough damage. That's being critical, right? But if you don't win that hill and you didn't kill anybody on the hill, Dodger Blue stayed alive. 
dips end up in a terrible spot. Well, Super D got knocked down to a three shot as soon as he went up. I mean, he took he took all the shots. Yeah, I mean, they had Desires low. I don't even think the Desires is hanging a pit. But the problem was they kind of stopped. Like, Decoy's guys were all grouped up. They really need to try to get somebody out before the other two got to him. But that's that's hard to do. You know, it's chaotic when you're trying to do a mine fight. And I honestly think the way the meta is, a lot of people aren't necessarily used to fighting like this, like we used to be in Tier 8s and stuff six years ago and mega d just ate a fat taroncha from wheezy One yeah i mean clean up this game rel relatively fast yeah they're rotating down the one line to get side shots on the machines and they're just going to clean this up pretty quickly yeah that was well played i mean i you know man i'm i know it's worked occasionally for some people i'm just not a real big fan of defense pushing hill it's you, you're just you're kind of at a disadvantage and you're really you know you're really kind of gambling on the spawns of the tanks you know i think they had a machine um, and two CSs that didn't really get the best spawn for that play. Whoa, what did I hit? Oh, there we go. I don't know how I ended up over here. That was weird. No, um, I mean, the one machine did. Yeah, one machine and one CS got a really good spawn for it, but they ate it for that. I mean, they got the good spawn, but, man, that, that CS ate it. I'm just not a big fan of that play from defense. I, you've got to get, in my I opinion, mean, you just got to get lucky for it to work. I think, I think the thing is that you got to see what the other team has, too, right? Yeah, yeah. You know, and I think, I don't, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if I necessarily mind it, because they were up, you know. True. They were up two games to one, and maybe they feel like they can really take that. But I, I really think that one machine would have committed and got on top of the hill, and he changes that from a 3v4. Because, you know, like, one's guy was down to 500 hit points. So, yeah, they took damage, but it wasn't it wasn't that lopsided, right? And I think if, you know, that one machine commits to the hill and just makes them have to go through another tank and he's an auto loader and maybe they can get out another tank, that could have played out different, but that's that's all hindsight. Let him For sure. do 4,000 damage. Crazy, but I'll do the side of decoy quick before I forget again. Uh, Airstorm, you have 2,000 damage flat. Got to the hill, didn't really work out. The QL really, I think, probably pushed up to try to help the hill 1,700 damage. Off of Snow Dorn, Turan, who's kind of in the back, 1,400 damage. Really not going to be able to do a lot. Surprised he even did that, to be honest with you. Mega D in the one machine that got a bad spawn, 1,200 damage. Super D in the uh, CS who went to the hill, 1,100 damage. Uh, the one machine I felt like kind of should have went up, 1,000 damage. And then it looks like Bob, who just kind of ate it, yeah. ended up getting rammed and was able to at least even put up a donut, but 47 damage in the side of one's all you. Yep, over on one, we got Reform Weezy in the tear and one kill, 4,100 damage. Just a big game out of a Tehran. I mean, uh, especially when they're just pushing hill. Uh, Kaza in the VZ with um, one kill, 2391. Sick Desires in the CS, 1927. Uh, Saint in the VZ with one kill, 1908. Dodger Blue in the CS with two kills, 1815. Idol in the CS with one kill, 1238. And Just rounding it out in the Chieftain with one kill, 855. Uh, one did a really good job focus firing up there on the hill, too. I noticed that. Like, they were pinning shots, and they were taking people out. Yeah, when they when they finally linked up and they came around, they they really deleted that guy. They did, yeah. Really fast. So these guys are picking tanks that, fast. That was pretty aggressive. We're gonna have to be careful, cause I don't know if you you remember this, but if if they launch the game while we're in the menu there, it, we have to. Yeah, that's why. I did the first <laughs> leave. Yeah, like the uh, they're going fast. Like, this game, I made it back the second it was starting. It was unreal. I was kind of interested by this. One did play before, and they actually played mines, and it looks like they're kind of taking the same lineup. But the other lines on the side of decoy, you got two VZs, a Chieftain, three CS, and a Tehran. Literally what I believe one actually just took on a Yeah, exact thing. Pretty standard for this. Yeah. And then on the side of one, we got two Type 5s, IS-7, Batch Hat, two CSs, and a Sturm Tiger. So pretty much, I think, the same line they kind of played before. I would expect to see the Sturm Tiger in the back. I uh, probably should pay attention to see which pings I'm saying, but it doesn't really matter. We'll see how they set this up. So I believe, you know, from one lineup before, I believe they had an E4. So it's kind of in, you know, K, uh, K4, K3 down there. But obviously in Calamity, a little bit of different rules. You can't have two TDs. Oh, so. Decoy's going to go for early bleed on the cross here. I don't think they're going to get it. Well, they might. The two CSs are late. Yeah, they really are late. I, it would be interesting to see if Papa Snow, like, this is going to be a tough shot, but if Papa Snowdoll can land one, 
CS can land one. They oh idols, the only guy got spotted. Maybe he's the one guy that does the wrong camel, man. Yeah, maybe. He should eat it here. He took one oh, shot. Oh, they hit him. In... How do you hit a tank in the side and break his gun? Yeah, I don't know. That's... <laughs> like, what was that? Unfortunately, well, that did not work out. For yeah, Detroit it's not the punish they well. wanted, but it, it was a shot. But at the end of the day, mine's a small map. You don't need a lot to rotate where you're going to go. But that was that could have been really bad. Yeah. You had a small window there, tough shot. Like I said, you know, Papa Snowball gets that shot, but Bob just gave the health back anyway. So. Oh, yep, he did, didn't he? square one. Yeah, and with, you know, one starting with type fives, like... There's there's a lot of HE whichever side you're gonna push and I I feel like that's kind of rolling RNG so maybe you only take a little bit damage from the HE guns but sometimes that doesn't that doesn't go a little bit of damage sometimes it's a lot of damage you know so we'll see how that plays out. And it looks like we're probably, you know, they're just going to spot out what's there. They probably, yep. I would assume, decoy kind of knows where everybody is. You're going to have three on the island, two underneath. One guy, you know, kind of in your super conqueror spot back there. We'll in the back, and we'll see which, which side decoy wants to go at. I mean, I don't think he could really kind of push the island. Assuming knowing decoy, we'll probably see about another four to five minute hoping for bleed, and then they'll make their play. This, this is going to be... Uh, this can be a tough defense to break, you know. So they got to really not give them health and make sure they got enough health when they decide which way they want to go. As far as which way they go, I have no idea. Bob is really kind of playing with fire right here. I, it's hard to tell, but I think the Sturm is trying to get a just a blind fire on the guy. Ah, uh, might as well. I mean, we saw you know on the Himmelsdorf round, Kaza just lets him rip. Yeah. I and mean, there's no point not to. For sure. Mega made the cross uh, for free, which is amazing. Oh, never mind, not for uh, free. Yeah, no, yeah. <laughs> Sturm. Desires did a really good job before this afternoon when he was playing to really, he pounded that spot. Um, he did some really good bleed. Um, that's tough, you know, if you've got a really good shot of type. Like, it's, it's you can't really trade with a type, right? Like, because even, nah. you know, even if he hits you for three and you hit him for four, yeah, you did 100 more damage, but in, like, you know, effective HP pool, you still didn't win, right? So, but it looks like uh, Decoy is making a rotation with two CSs. It looks like they're going somewhere. I'm going to assume they're probably going to go over by A. Oh, I got a charge. Yeah, so we got a little bit of a standoff here, and we'll just we'll just see how it plays out. I mean, this is typical, you know, meta defense. Uh, most teams play. I mean, people have been playing this before. We, this, sure. this type of defense on PC before this game was even out. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Yeah. I don't, I mean, having two CSs over here, I don't know if this is enough. Yeah, I mean, I was just thinking about it. Like, I have personally pushed. <laughs> I don't know, man. Like, oh, we'll say I'll play that. This is just what happens sometimes. Stream, you kind of get a little bit of a standoff, you know. Yeah, I mean, you got two of the best teams, you know, yeah. going at it. It's just a uh, part of it. It's a big match. You know, this really, you know, this is either going to even it up or not, which would kind of be weird if it evens up because, I, you know, one kind of looked out of place on their own map. If I'm not, don't they did. So myself, but yeah. It looks like Decoy stacking up with the, with the CSs, um, which is interesting because I don't think that they spotted all the medium tanks on the one line, so... There's always a chance that you have a guy, you know, kind of hiding. The VZ came off the hill. That was risky. Um, I like that. He's trying to block the Type 5 shot for the CS. I like that idea. I think it's a good idea. Yeah, It yeah. didn't work in that scenario, but the Type 5 did miss. One Type 5 missed. One Type 5 didn't miss. They hit a fat thing. They can't let Airstorm take the hit. Don't let Airstorm take the hit. You got to commit to killing this guy. You got to commit to killing this guy before they rotate the medium's back. Oh, he's 792. They should be able to get him out. They uh, they're tracking. Track. Yeah. 
Oh, they lost Bob. The problem is, they got nobody on the hill to pump. Well, I guess they do have Super Day. They are bringing Saucer down behind. Dips is just fighting for his life, bouncing shots over there. Saucer's got to get in behind. The problem is, Idols is going to have free farm on him. They're, the Tehran for Decoy is really out of the play, out of place here. He really is, yeah, completely out yeah. of the game. Super D is in a 1v4, technically, but all of one's tanks are kind of in the same grids it's really going to come down oh wow the type 5 shot heat and bounce it's really going to come down to whether saucer can kind of pin a shot here on these types 5 and vz and this is what we're talking about it's hard oh and he does papa snow dog's coming in with the terran that could change it up a little bit too if he gets some shots oh i think he was able to get a shot on auto shot from the Tur Tehran. they also did get saucer that was a big shot what do we got oh we got a wow it's a 2v5 yeah, and but they're the two guys have more help. Well, let's see how good Mega D is. The He's looking the is wrong. They never killed this Sturm. He was looking behind him for the Sturm, yeah. Well, you Sturm's going to kill him. I mean, Sturm's going to kill him, yeah. I will be honest. I think them not. I, I, I actually think one of the CSs from Decoy was too afraid to take a hit. Yeah, yeah. And you really needed to kill that Sturm. I mean, you dedicated, you know, four tanks to kind of doing it. I I did like the VZ going off the hill. I think that Tehran needed to be on top of the hill to punish the Sturm if he backed up too much. I think that was the fault, but I really think that them them not being able to... Uh, oh, he bounced. bounced. Yeah, he's just oh, going to sit and there and take it. The guy hit the <laughs> <laughs> well... We're in I was for say the next county, but I stumbled over my words. But yeah, that is what it is. Yeah, I mean, I think, I think them not fully committing, and I think they probably should have waited his front to get up on the hill, um, before that VZ went down. I like the VZ coming down to try to block the Type Five shots. He didn't even end up blocking the Type Five shots. They didn't take the bait, but no, yeah, just, but I see what they tried yeah. to do. I liked it. You know, and maybe if Taren would have gotten the game a little faster too, um. Yeah, that's why I think he needs yeah. to be off the hill to VZ want to come down. Because, like, when that Sturm Tiger backed up, he can be shot from the hill, right? For sure. The problem was, like, you need to kind of blow him up and then get hold down for the guys that are going to push back. Like, one was super, super quick at getting back. And I think that threw off decoy, like, when they started taking damage. But let's do this before we get locked in this thing. Yeah. Okay. On the uh, side of decoy, Mega D, big game in his Chieftain. 4,400 damage was kind of pounding them. Saucer, who ended up... Um, Coming back off the hill and kind of flag him. Two kills, 3,300 uh, 3, damage. Pinned his shots against Type 5 heavies. He had a really good game. Airstorm, who was one of the CS's push in the back, 1,900 damage. Six for five, a pretty good game at him. Dips, who came off the hill, 1,900 damage. And then you have Super D and his CS. It really didn't look like he was able to get enough pins there, 1,200 damage. Tehran did have that one big shot, and unfortunately it was the only shot he had. And, and Bob, who took the uh, brunt of it, 700 damage. Yep. And outside of ones, all you. Yep, we got Justin the type at the top. Two kills, 43-45. That's a great game out of a type here. Uh, we got Dodger Blue in the CS, one kill, 3196. Another phenomenal game. Kaz in the uh, Sturm with one kill, 3,000 damage, which is just crazy. Um, we got Reform Wheezy in the bad chat with one kill, 1664. Saint in the I-7 with uh, 1112. Idle in the CS with two kills, 1,000 damage, so good cleanups. Um, and then sick in the type with zero damage. I'm actually not real sure what happened there. Eight shots fired. Some maybe little gun. I don't know. I uh, sometimes it's just too hard to keep up with what's going on, man. I, I don't. I don't know what happened with that guy. Yeah, it seems to be like these guys kind of seem to wait for like you know half the match and then just brawls everywhere, right? Yeah. So so we got proc picked, and that's gonna be um, that's gonna be one's, one's map. Picked. I will say, you know, scrimming against decoy and stuff, I I do like what they've done on proc lately. I'll see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I kinda, do. They kind of do it here, um, but I will say that, you know, I think uh, one plays proc pretty well. They're more of a Valor, stay hold down, really kind of trade your team. At least they have been. So we'll see how this goes. This this is big, 2-2. Two, two. I'll be honest, man, after watching the first two maps, I was kind of like, man, this really looks like Decoy's kind of got this. One kind of looks a little out of place. And then after watching the next two the next two rounds, I'm kind of like, man, maybe one's got this. Decoy kind of looks out of place. Because, like, the focus there, the pinning shots there wasn't there for Decoy on mines, right? Yeah, the focus like was way could... out. Yeah. Yeah, like, they, it just didn't seem like they needed to be in the, in the right spot. I mean, going to the hill is a gamble, you know. You, you're you up two rounds. It, it's a gamble. I'm, I'm okay with that, right? Like... 
I do that too, and everybody's like, well, we shouldn't have done that. Well, you know, you got to roll the dice every once in a while, I think. But this is big. I think, I think proc, I think this is pretty big. It looks like everything pretty pretty normal like one usually taking the valleys like they like they usually like to uh, kind of pretty heavy on the mediums from uh, decoy and uh, <coughs> decoy attacking they're not bringing a light tank and one's bringing their uh, standard EBR that they usually take and we're going right into this one we're moving quick one doesn't want to be up anymore no they don't on the uh, on the side of decoy, we got two chieftains, IS seven batch out two CSs. Toronto, let's say you don't always see two CSs on, on attack, but we'll see how it plays out. And then on the side of one who's playing defense, we got a VZ, a chieftain, two Valors, IS seven EBR, and a Toronto. So they have no medium tank. One does like to do this. They usually like to stack. A, they usually like to bring like one light tank at Toronto. They usually like to stack five heavies. It's pretty effective. I feel like heavies actually are really really strong. Yep, yep. In this game, so. Especially for comp, I mean, in pubs you just get shot by Avery, so it doesn't matter what you're in. <laughs> you ain't wrong. Yeah, so. We we'll still have sets up, it looks like. They're going to send Bob to go watch the Zero. They're having three. They are pushing the I-7. I'm assuming they're going to push the I-7 to bull. He will get there. The only person who's going to be outside of bull looks like it's going to be Kaza. One's kind of going with a standard defense. They're going to have E6. They're going to have the guy outside the bull. They're going to have two on the one. They're going to have A6, and they're going to stick a uh, IS-7 in the back over there at A8. So this is just a typical standard yeah, but, defense, uh, just like they ran on mines. One was able to get the entire decoy team spotted with the exception of the baddie on the hill. Yeah, but that's okay. I mean, it's not it's not a big big deal like the thing is like they're spotted right but they didn't bleed them it's not, it's not a huge deal as i say that kaza did take a shot to bleed them i, I doubt that he spotted the tehran but you probably guess what the tehran is anyway i think the only problem here is that you're going to see is that i think cs is trying to spot an ebr this this could be a problem for decoy not having a light mm -hmm. tank like i don't know i think two cs is maybe is a little bit overkill i, I think decoy actually plays a light tank very very well i'm kind of surprised they took two cs's but they're creeping. They're creeping. But little do they know, you know, the EBR is over there. And as we saw before, whoever watched, you know, the one match before, the EBR, EBR is a, a pain to pen. It looks like he got shot by HE. Super D got spotted. Airstorm got spotted after he shot. And they're getting spotted, I believe, by the Valor. Yeah, the Valor. Yeah, CS's just don't seem to have the camel for me. I don't know their thing. I'm I'm not a big CS guy. I know it's it's a good tank. Obviously, we played in comp. I don't like playing it personally. I hate the way the thing backs up. It drives me insane. Um, like in a position like that where you have to back up real quick because you got spotted. Thing don't even move backwards. Zyus is making plays. He didn't get spotted, and he spotted him. Like, Desires has got pretty much free reign, and I, I would say that if he plays this right, this will really hurt Decoy. Unless he kind of goes into this map, but Decoy is moving Super D back to the other side. We'll say this, you know, Decoy does not have their, uh, doesn't look like their main caller is here, so they're doing a pretty good job without their main caller. Yeah, they actually, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know, it's it's tough, you know, when when you, uh, I guess I wouldn't necessarily know. Shout out but, to Gambit in the chat. I know you're here watching your team. Yeah, I'm still waiting on my points from your chat, Gambit. But yeah, we'll have a talk about that later. Four hundred thousand channel points, nothing to spend it on. Hello. Yeah. And uh, it's tough, you know, to do that when you use a certain voice, but they seem to be playing pretty well. Cause of blood, maybe a little bit. I think the Tehran has just been aging him. But again, like I said before the match, we're kind of at that point, guys, where we kind of wait. <laughs> you know, we're gonna wait, five, yeah, five, six minutes, and then, and then we'll have a brawl on two sides of the map, and we'll be able to call it all. But till then, we'll take it. Tehran looks like he missed. Did he get spotted? 
It's kind of interesting. I would like to see the one. I would like to see the. They should really be trying to spot the one. If you're one, you should be trying to spot the one. It looks like he's moving over now, All right? Because if they can light him up, they can deter him, you know, from him taking maybe even do a little bit of damage to him. It looks like decoy's going. They're going on the oh, other yep, side. Oh, yep, they are. They don't I, mean, have any, I don't think Dodger Blue is going to have any fair warning. If they can get a tank or two, I would really like to see the bat go up at A0 with Airstorm. Now, obviously, they probably don't know Dodger Blue is there. But it's going to be it's going to take a lot longer for a CS to kill an IS-7 than it would a CS in a bat shot to just obviously clip them, you know, in the back. But that's all saying. They ain't sending anybody up to Z0. It looks like they're uh, really playing this slow. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Now... The Tehran, they're probably assuming that Tehran is an A6 and he's not. He's actually an A5. Is he even in a bush over here? No, no, but he doesn't really need it at this point. <laughs> you know, no, Tehran. He uh, he's moving now. Oh, man, if Decoy, like, this is kind of bad timing by Decoy. If they would have done that before the Tehran was there. Decoy also, I know they do. They have Mega D there. They do have the Saucer guy there to uh, punish A6. They get spotted. The Tehran did shoot. Weezy's actually on reload. Is gonna hurt them. See, this is where they you should have a guy at A0. Decoy should know this. Have a guy at A0 trying to trying to shoot this IS7. Wheezy's coming for it. He's gonna most likely just pound somebody in the back. If they move up a little bit further, they're gonna get pounded. Oh, they're playing it good. No, nope, got pounded. Is. Yep. And they miss Wheezy on the thing. They're bringing in the light tank. Decoy is going to lose these two tanks. Now, two credit to Decoy. They are pinning their shots on an IS7 up close. And as I say that, they pound. And I think I just jinxed them. You definitely jinxed them. Yeah, not good. That's three in a row after that. Yeah, four. Oh, wow. Yeah, you definitely jinxed them. Well, he's... Yeah, okay, he wasn't able to get it out. Uh, not I good. Mean, I think that was a really big misplay by not just. Yeah, they should have had the baddie over. over. Yeah, but I mean, you put, kind of want to put a heavy with the bad is have the have the bad in a zero because like they weren't able to punish. Oh, they did punish Weezy. They punished Weezy. Yeah, hard. the baddie clipped him. Yeah. Oh, okay. So that did kind of work in that sense, but at the end of the day, you sacrifice two tanks for no two one shots. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but it, the tanks alive are tanks alive, man. You know, you saw even in dips on Himmelsdorf in E4. If he's alive in E4, he's alive, right? Now you're kind of forcing the bat to run away. Like a Tehran, you know, on one health still hits you for a thousand. So, kind of a unfortunate push by decoy, but I also think that's um, maybe if you didn't have two CS and you had a bat clip. He gets it out of the CS can finish him. I wasn't a fan of two CSs. No. Also, it would have been interesting if maybe they just would have put a Chieftain over to try to get shots in somewhere, but that's all hindsight. Decoy's got to make a play, right? Like, we're, we're on two minutes. Your first play didn't work. You can't really, you know, you can get two one-shots out if you're quick on the gun. You can still win this. They still have a light tank. He's EBR. He's not going to hand out a lot of damage. It's a tough tank to hand out damage in. So, you can bring this back, but you got to make something happen. You know. And there. Doesn't look like they're really trying to do anything. Got to do something, man. All right, it looks like they got a medium tank moving. They got Bob coming down the one line now. Unfortunately, one was pretty, pretty good on this. Realized that, hey, we got to block the one. And uh, Bob spotted. He's hiding behind buildings. That is not the place you want to be. I've been there. Not the place you want to be, especially if you're running over your own cover. Chieftains fire too fast. They're just going to knock that cover down. Bob's kind of unspotted now. Maybe he can dip to the right. No, I got spotted. Now he's just going to send it here. He did spot, he did spot Desires. Maybe Bob can hit some big shots here. EBR, very, very tough tank to hit. He just hit him in the tracks. It just slows him down. He slowed him down again. Yeah, oh, and he missed. Tough. I don't know what's up with those EBR things, man. Like, you hit the guy and he stops moving, kind of, in a way. But, like, you don't pin him and do damage. 
Dips was it? Dips ended up going down. Not really the play from decoy on their second kind of push, but they did have to try to make something happen. So, is this cheap in uh, AFK quite, back I'm not, here? I'm not quite sure what this guy's doing. Oh, he's I, back. Was he AFK? I don't know what he was. Not doing what he needed to be doing. Tell yeah. You Yeah, a little uh, unfortunate. Um, one played this really well, though. Won't take that away from him. I mean, I he play. runs a fire extinguisher. That's. Um, hey. Yeah. Looks like a genius now. For sure. He's alive. <laughs> He's the only one left. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, if you're only going to push with two tanks. That's tough, man. You know, you got to make it happen. And I, maybe I did kind of jinx them because. Yeah, they definitely you know, missed after they you went said in that. There and huh? they were pinning. And then they weren't. But on the side of decoy, you got Mangadinish, Chieftain, 2,300 damage. Good game out of him. Dips who went to the ball, 1,900 damage. Decent game out of him. Uh, Bob in his bad chat, uh, 1,540 there. I believe he's a guy who really kind of hit the Tron. Papa yeah. Snow Dog, I believe he shot a bunch of AG into the Valor's turret, 1,200 damage. Uh, the the one CS Airstorm who kind of went down to get that kill. Started off great, not so good at the end. I7 is a tough tank to pin, 1,100 damage. And then you had the Saucer guy who we're not really sure what happened. He was on the ridge, they maybe went off K, maybe went to go have a snack. Yeah, came back, know. put out a fire, and that was the end of his game. One kill, 800 damage, and then you have Super D and the other uh, CS not able to make it happen at the end, 800 damage. And the side of one is all you. Yep, we got Idol at the top and the Valor with 3,000 damage. Dodger Blue in the IS-7 with two kills, 2764. Sick Desires in that lovely EBR with one kill, 2592, 1944 assist. Pretty good game, actually. Cause in the, uh, the uh, Unskin Valor, um, 2545. Reform Wheezy in the Terran with two kills, 1704. Uh, Res in the Chieftain with one kill, 1155. Saint in the VZ with one kill and 883. So, GG's to one. They're going to go up on that one, three to two. And they have their tanks ready. Yeah, they're ready to go. They got to play them. Like I said, it's late for them. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, somebody in chat could maybe verify, but um, isn't it? It's got to be like, what, three, four in the morning over there? Six hours ahead of us. It's four. It's about to turn four o'clock. Yeah, it's four a.m. right now. Yeah. Okay. So that's crazy. Yeah, that's not a time I would want to be playing one of the tanks. <laughs> no, no, it's not. <laughs> Unless I'm trying to, you know, three mark on the use there, everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then I don't even think that's a good time. About ten a.m. That's um. Uh, man, that's late. Because yeah, I know, I know, Eng I think England is five. Like, I obviously am East Coast, if you can't tell by my accent. England's five. I'm pretty sure Germany and uh, Poland, that little that little middle gap of Europe is uh, six. And then you have whatever's to the right of that. Who knows? And then you got Russia. I think it's... Russia's big, man. It's like eight to 12. Like yeah, something like place. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll get right into the next game here. On the side of one, we got two VZs, two Valors, CS, EBR, Tehran. Uh, pretty much kind of same lineups, just bringing an extra VZ. And then on the side of decoy, we got two Chieftains, Valor, IS-7, Batchat, T100LT, and a Tehran. So, see how this plays out? I'm going to be honest. I know this is a long series. I really think decoy cannot lose four games in a row here. No, they, got to, they the need to win. On the side, I did say this before we started playing. If there's one team that can drop a couple rounds in a series and it doesn't really seem to affect them. It's decoy. Like, I don't know. You get these guys down and they just don't go away, man. So, see how this one plays out. Desire's going to go for a quick spot. I've seen and this play out of this light tank. Saucer. Oh, he's spotted by Arsenal. Looks like he got stuck there a little bit. Well, they're actually not. Interesting. I mean, Decoy's kind of doing the same. Like, ironically enough, Decoy's pretty much doing the same thing. They're just putting a bad chat at A6 and a Tehran. 
over on the one line. Now, I think the EBR kind of throws. I, I do think the EBR is throwing decoy off a little bit. I think the last couple of games, or well, last game I should say, he was really just running wild. Like this it's... guy's to the left, to the right. Spot it, spot it. We got any punish on that from decoy? Oh, oh big punish! Big shot. He's stuck on the he's stuck on the airplane. He ran yeah, into the, the airplane. I think Bob kind of needs to get up. No, they're oh, good shot. Oh, man. man. Mega D's pennant shot. Airplane OP. Bob needs to get on spot. Oh, oh. Bob, Bob came Bob into it, man. Out. Yeah. Like, because now he's actually getting out spotted by the EBR. And I, Bob's got this building, but they shot the building. They did, hit, they did damage Koza for doing that. Now Bob did get unspotted. But, like... He's got to get out of Bob there. Even spotted was on the one. No, they're just shooting down that building. They kind of know where Bob is. Bob is going to get out. That's the right play. I would have liked to see him do that earlier. Um, after they got that bleed, I think you know, in the, in the words of Willows, you take the win and you leave. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, you try to get out of there after you get that. But at the end of the day, he's still alive. But at the end of the day, you know, Sick Desires is still alive. Yeah, that airplane, big brain, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's tough, man. You know, you got random, like, when you're in a light tank going 70. Bob's lit man. again. He, oh, he's. You're looking the other way. Is he? He might oh, get he out. Is. I don't know. He took another shot. Uh, he's getting out spotted by that EBR, which is surprising. Maybe He's, he's going to go move. back again. He needs to. I would like to see him not be doing that. I mean, I hate to say it, but. If I'm being honest, he's either got to stop them from coming down the one and spot it, otherwise he might as well be dead. Right, so... I don't I mean, hate it. where the EBR now is I don't now, think he should be going in front of the guy that's spotted, but that's my two cents. Megadie's moving back. Let's see if Reform Wizard can get a shot into the Chieftain here. Now he got unspotted. They don't know Dips is here. I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to we used to play this spot a lot, but it seems like when they buff brothers in arms, you couldn't stay as. Um, it seems like people were spotting you a little bit better in here, which really didn't make sense because then your camo should get up with a brothers in arms too, and it should be harder. But we started getting spotted in bad chats at B2. Maybe it's Ron, it's just a harder thing. But I think the thing that was nice about the bad chat there is that you can kind of clip twice, go on the move, just relaunch the shots and get out. I don't think a Tehran is getting out there if they push to one line. I think he's going to shoot once, and then the gig is up, right? Like, they're going to have 13, 13 and a half seconds to kill you, even if you pop food, and you don't... Oh, you good shot from Super D. Points. He was able oh, to get sick. Oh, that is a big shot. Yep, yep. Yep. That's number one BR player in the game right there. Yep, that, that's big. That's big, because even though, you know, Bob can pretty... Oh, wow, Bob's spotted. Imagine if they hit Bob here. Oh, my goodness. That would be hysterical. It does look like one is making the rotation to the 9-0 line. Yeah. Well, then they're going to find pretty much the uh, same defense that they ran. And... I don't think they'll send... It'd be funny if they send the 1CS down there, but I don't <laughs> think they will. All right. But we'll see. The difference here is that, you know, you got a bad check covering instead of a Tehran. I would, if if Saucer is aggressive and can maybe spot this a little bit early, and they need to get the Tehran back to A6 or get the Tehran in a place to cover, that could be big. You know, 1,000 damage is 1,000 damage. But they are moving everybody over there by Casa. Now, Saucer, I, ideally, Idols is probably going to jump the tracks. Once he jumps the tracks, you know they're playing the other side that gigs up, right? So that's going to have to be how quick they do that and they spot this. But they are lining up. It looks like they got the VZs lining up underneath the hill. And they're going to wait for the Tron to get on top of the hill. And then we're going to see a play come out of here. Four minutes on the clock. You know, at least we did have a little bit more excitement there with the light tanks. That, oh, yeah. Yeah, that no, was that close. was definitely uh, a nail biter for sure. That was a good shot by Super D, man. It was, yeah. Yeah, here they go. Yeah, 
Decoy's pretty set up here, I think, to be able to stop as long as Tehran can really hit some big shots. Now, it'd be interesting, I would like to see the CS go up to A0, something that Decoy didn't do. Um, but we will see. The VZ going to the VZ spotted there. That's a bounce. That's a miss. That's a pin. 300 on a 400 gun. Yeah, I know. That was bounce. Was... That's bad chat four shots. I seven one shot. Bad chat on reload. You did 400 damage. That's a one win. 400 damage for taking up that much ground and getting the decision. One win. This is where I think I still like the bad chat at A0. Kaza just took a little bit of damage on the other side of the map. But. VZs are coming in. I still will see. I think this comes down, you know, can the VZs pin the I at seven? Better than a, better than those two CSs can. Now, the other... Well, they're going to have a CS VZs. above them, too. Yeah. Yep, there's a CS above them. See, that's where the A0 really comes into play here. Oh, but he Dodger should eat this here. Airstorm's reloaded already? That much time go back? Oh, they... Airstorm, you gotta shots, man. They deleted that I7 quickly. Yeah. Dodger Blue goes down for oh. it, though. Yeah, I think Dodger Blue got a little bit too overeager. Idols did take a little bit of damage. Kaz is one shot. Super G needs to just take a hit, and I honestly think kill Kaz. Like, there's no point to leave a tank there on 300 health. Just kill him, man. Right? You know, take him off this spot. Like, even if you eat that shot, like, you just ate the shot, Super D. Like, don't let him reload and then have to eat it again. Like, go He's for it. He's getting shot Say, in the back, yeah. Yeah, but he didn't commit to killing the guy oh, with one man. shot. Right, like, you, you need to come in and kill him and get to that side. Airstorm's now, Airstorm abandoned over there because he went on reload. And Mega D can't stop underneath the tracks. So, like, when you see that they're going to take over that thing, you might as well get on the other side. You can defend the cat from the other side actually better. They finally kill Kaza, and now they're going to take over that side. He does take one shot for it. But Super D, after making that big shot, I will say that it's a little bit of a misplay. Just kill the guy in 300 health, man. Even if you eat one or two, or even if you eat three, take the guy out of the game when your team's winning. Sauce is giving it to this guy, though. Yeah, Sauce is just up here playing. He's giving it to him, dude. He's making up for that lag out in the last one. And now, now I think he's getting a little too aggressive here. He's going to eat it oh, from the Terran in a minute. He back. Oh, no, well, okay, uh, you know, we're Sauce good to is go. A beast. Sauce is a beast. He's beasting right now. He's, he's giving him the sauce. Beasted. Yeah. I don't know what BH sauce means. I don't either. Probably not stream safe. No. Uh, well, judging by his flag, it doesn't actually look like Brazilian. Well, that Jeez. was an interesting round. Um, Man, a whole lot of uh, back and forth, you know? Um. You know, and then we got yeah, to discover definitely. that the airplane on uh, on proc is like 8,000 W and 8, you know? Um, so, yeah, it's a win. Uh, GG's to the decoy there. They, they needed that W. They really, really needed that. So now we're back tied again, 3-3. Three, three. What yeah, an three absolute three, show. Really close match. But on the side of decoy, we got Mega Dean is cheap then. 3,300 damage. Big sauce, late game sauce over here. Two kills, 2,700 damage. Airstorm is bad chat, who I was a little bit critical of him pinning in his first shots. I think he kind of did pretty bad in that first clip, but judging by his pin ratio, he didn't miss a shot after that, so yep. pretty solid at him, 2,700. Dips into Thrawn, two kills, 1,800 damage. Bob and his light team was able to stay alive, picked up a kill, 1,400 damage, a little bit assisted there pretty well. Super D, really, I, I would have liked to see him push at the end, but he had a pretty solid game before that. And Papa Snowdog and his IS-7, only able to get one pin and really went down quickly. On the side of one is all you. Yep. Over here we got Saint at the top in the VZ with one kill, twenty one fifty three. Idol in the Valor with twenty one eleven. Dodger Blue in the CS with sixteen oh nine. Jester DC in the uh, VZ with nine fifty two. Cause in the Valor with eight forty six. <clears throat> Sick Desires, which you know got attacked by an eight thousand WN eight warplane. Um, zero damage to seventy five and Reform Wheezy in the Tehran, which was able to not pin a single shot, which is crazy. So GG to decoy there. Mean, he ended up on the cap. Yeah, that was. Yeah, I mean, I but I guess know. they kind of had to at that point. Yeah, but I don't know. Like, he could have been slapping that chieftain, you know. Better, I guess I better back up in here before they launch. Let's see. We're yeah, going to be on decoy's map pick, which is going to be Ghost Town. So we're moving right along. 
Um, kind of surprised by this, but Decoy does play Go. I will say, yeah. I think Decoy plays Ghost Town Attack pretty, pretty well. Um, I feel like they do that. So we'll see how this goes. They have really, really moved fast. I just realized we're six games in in an hour. Oh, yeah, they're going. Oh, they're moving. And it looks like one has picked up a player or two. Yeah, they opened the room while we were reading scores, apparently. I guess I should go look at the Discord, make sure I haven't missed anything. Nope, it's just as plain Jane as it gets. No. Give me a second here. I got to get me a drink of water. It's a lot of talking. A lot of talking. We're going up. You better be able to work the camera soon. Oh man, I'm a I'm like a professional, you know. I got a fridge in the in the studio, stocked full of water. Nice. Ain't gonna catch me. If you me just stop eating McDonald's every day, you'll be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually didn't today. You'd be proud of me. I I ate a little sorta of healthy. Well not really. But kinda. Oh, it's interesting. The only other team I've seen taking three CSs on Ghost Town Attack is A. One's yeah. going fast. Which is kind of why I was surprised that Decoy kind of took this map. But then on the flip side of that, they handled Himmelsdorf very well. They kind of had an idea what one was going to do. And they really, really punished him when one kind of committed to something they probably should enough. So we'll see. Maybe they're going to go with that again. But on the side of one, we got three VZs. Three CSs and an IS-7. Not a typical lineup you see on Ghost Town. Definitely probably have a plan for it. Or Decoy can read that. And on the side of Decoy, we got a Chieftain, two Type 5 heavies, IS-7, 50B, Batchat, and an E. And, uh, let's see. One is really not sent anybody over to the aid camp there looks like they're going full blast three cs is probably going to the dunes decoy is only going to have the bat chat here it looks like they're going to try to have a 50b loaded and an e4 and an i yeah. to cross they're, they're ready for try this. to hold the back dune they're going to try to hold the back dune with the chief they got they can they spotted the first guy oh somebody's going to eat it here oh misses all misses misses all misses one pin not good from a 50b now, these guys got to leave. Like, one's just going to come in over here with VZs. The 50B popped the reload. They're getting an IS-7. They are slowly getting surrounded by CSs. On the plus side, Mega D did actually bounce the shot. But on the plus side, they did get it. They did get um, Airstorm out of there. This 50's uh, about to eat it. Yeah, he's, he's in a terrible spot. This is a terrible spot to be in. Like, he needed to move right away. And they missed shot. No, that just wasn't enough punish to throw away your 50B. And now they're getting shot from the dunes. Bob is. Uh, Snowdog's got to leave. Air Batty is in the middle battle, and yeah. Bad. They always just eating it. <clears throat> yeah, they, it looks like Decoy's going to try to overmatch this, but you really can't with them having that angle with the CSs. Oh, Idols oh, on fire. Big fighter on Idols. They kind of need that. They need Decoy needs to stop panicking and do something. Yeah, they they're just sit here and keep eating this. They're grouping up and out, and not. I mean, they're the not really trading. Man is trying to keep them alive. Oh, Dib's taking uh, it hard. They're going for Kaza, but now they're surrounded again. Dips is dead. He Dips. Oh. oh, an ammo rack. That's a good. That's a that they needed that. Yeah, but they really need to kill Kaza now. Sauce Man's got a pretty good angle on Kaza really take him out he's shooting him with the little gun so he keeping is. it pumping but he's he looked at the other guy dips gets a kill on 52 health 
Gets the Amorak, stays alive, kind of like Himmeldorf still handing out the Sick Desires well, might be able to get Airstorm out here, though. He did, they yep. They did kill Mega D. The problem was, like, the CS's win for Mega D. And kind of a good play, but I don't know if they should have dedicated all three to going for Mega D because... They yeah, they lost the, the battle. Crossfire. Well, they gave up the Crossfire. Like, you, did you need three tanks to kill one? Well, I guess maybe judging by how Decoy push on prop, maybe you do. Yeah, Decoy maybe. Decoy needs to actually now slow it down. They need to go fast. They're bouncing off a of Bob. We're going to need another big pin out of dips. Oh, oh he, he did. He got another fire. Oh, my goodness. That's big. Oh, man. That's That's got to really, like, that would piss me off. Yeah. Before, and that much health was doing that much damage. Well, we got a 3v3 here, and we got the health on the side of one of 30, 3290 to uh, 2671. So it's really close. They still they got to kill dips. This guy's on a rampage. He's going to cross in front of Dips? Why would you do that? Uh, he, uh, yeah, oh, he gave it to him. Oh, Super D missed. Super D's yeah, got to be on that, and Dips are just bouncing shots. Last stand perk engaged. Oh, my goodness. This I-7 is shots. living, too. Got Bob out. Two Type 5 heavies to a two-shot idle, and uh, he got the Bob. Oh, that's good. But the Sauce Man, late-game Sauce Man. Until now, Super D's just got to finish this. And he bounced a shot on ice. I don't know why he's backing up. Yeah, I think he realized. Oh, wow. Okay, I left him on 9 health. Maybe he should have kept backing up. <laughs> hey, uh, you know, we... Big pin? No. Sauce Man's coming in. Sauce Man's like, I got this. Oh, I guess wow. he doesn't need it. You know, that got a little crazy. I'm going to be honest. I, I think... I think one really messed up sending three CSs to kill the Chieftain. They really kind of gave up the, their uh, their advantage there. Like, they were those CSs were pounding the guys in the middle. And then another oh, thing, you know, Decoy got two if fires there. If you would have screenshot that match oh. after Airstorm took all that damage and was like, who wins this and put a prediction up, I think you would have had zero. Say so Decoy came back. Well, and, and Dips know? handed out, I don't know what, 1,500, 2,000 damage when he was on 50 health? He handed out five kills. That's crazy. Like, I don't think, I don't, you know, yeah. Two five. He got an ammo rack and a fire. He hit a guy on a cross. That was a bad cross by Dodger Blue, to be honest with you. But before we get locked in here, yeah. we'll go uh, Super Dean is I7. Really nice game. One kill, 3,900 damage. Uh, apparently the guy who can't die in his E4 tonight. Yeah. Dips, five kills, 3,900 damage. The sauce man, one kill, 2,600 damage. Bob and his type 5, 1,800 damage. Mega D, who they sent three tanks to kill, 1,200 damage. Papa Snowdo, who really got caught out in his 50B, only able to get two pins. I should have early. Airstorm, who did get out and then kind of went to a probably a bad spot, only one pin, 400 damage. And on the side of one is all you. Yeah, well, here we got Rez in the CS, one kill, 39-38, just handing it out. Uh, Idle in the I-7, battle really well, one kill, 30-80. Sick Desires in the VZ, one kill, 22-29. Perform Wheezy in the VZ with 18-47. Cause in the VZ with one kill, 16-80. Dodger in the CS-63 with 12-52. And just rounded it out in the CS with 11-42. So GG's yeah, to I mean, Decoy there. Like, like one, like, I hate to say it, but like Decoy kind of played with like kind of five tanks there. Yeah. Right? And it, it's pretty impressive to win in that scenario. Like... Yeah, I mean the I chieftain. Know. The chieftain was sort of kind of out of the fight. Not really was able to do some damage, but the fifty B in the bad chat. That I mean, yeah, they were they were just out of the fight. So it's crazy. I mean, an ammo rack really helped them. Two fires really helped them. Um, and then I really think it was a misplay on one sending all three CS. Yeah, but I mean, at the at the, there's kind of two sides to that. Like, if you notice, if you're calling and you're like, man, we're up all these hit points. They can't yeah. really push us. Just go kill that guy. Just go kill that guy. Kill this him. is true. That's true. And then next thing you know, turrets are flying. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. You know? So, kind of, it's tough to hate. I mean, you know, in hindsight, it yeah, is. Yeah, we're just not the there. Moment, it probably yeah. wasn't the worst call. But on the side of decoy, we got two chieftains, two type 5 heavies, 50B batch at E4, pretty standard lineup. And then on the side of one, we got a chieftain... Valor, Type 5 Heavy, 3 IS-7s, and a Tehran. So, see, one, 3 IS-7s on defense. Don't always see that. We'll see kind of what they're doing. 
maybe one's gonna try to aggressively maybe push to the ACAB and try to deny it. I don't know. Or maybe they're, they're gonna try to get the Tehran up. Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. I mean, they played it. Now, you would think they what, will. What What's interesting about this, I will say this. Decoy, I've, oh. I've played the Tehran up there. They literally deleted me blind with Type 5 heavies when I've been up there. Is it Weezy even doing this right? No. No, that's not right. That's no. not how you do it. He's got, yeah, he's on the rock. This isn't he's gotta good. He's got to go the other way. No. He's got to turn right. He's got to keep going. There he goes. There he goes. Well, he should get it right there. He should yeah, yeah. get it right. No, no, you're turning him the wrong way. Yeah, he's going to get it, though, maybe. Way. No. They, they've no, got to give it up. The wrong way. They, they've got to yeah, give it they up. They don't know. This is a this is a complete stream failure. It, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't know how to climb this. He's got to turn. Turn. He's not going to get the it right. there. There's a wall turn there. Turn to the right. He's got to turn to the right and then go to the left when he goes up. He he doesn't know how to get up. Oh, They're there just going to flip ah. him. Okay. Uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, listen, if Desert Storm is watching, this is why we made you practice this. Yeah, so this, this does not happen. Yeah, this now, isn't good. With that being said, okay, he's not going to get blind fired up there because he's not going to be there. If you notice all the shots coming in. <laughs> yeah, this on is true. The on the plus side, it is not terrible for him to be down here. No, it no, no. They can still play. It is unfortunate that he flipped over on top of his head. But he really just was not doing that right. I mean, I obviously, you guys can't see my camera angle, but you need to go to the right. Um, you need to, like, pose to the right of where that rock that sticks out is on how to do it. So, but either way, we'll see how this defense holds up. I mean, Leia, listen, if you want entertainment, I hate to say it, that That's... was better than to shoot it. Yeah, that, that was, was pretty funny. good. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, yeah. And I've been there where I've I have too. Over. Yeah. And honestly, look, man, they uh, I, I was getting really worried that Decoy was going to take advantage of all these tanks being out of the fight. But, um, you know, one got in it, and they're yeah, in positions, and they're good to go. Yeah, Decoy, uh, Decoy tends to play it slow. Now, I would yep. say if Decoy did that, they probably would have got it. Yeah, yeah, it would have been bad. One, right? But, you know, not the end of the world. It's not the, it's not the, the only thing is, like, where these chieftains are poking now. If, if the Tehran ever gets spotted... Right, and the che wow, they pinned that. Yeah, that was Finals crazy. Right but if they do notice that the Tehran is not up, it gives your heavies and your E4 from decoy and the other Type 5, the Sauce Man, that's for whatever reason, is all the way over there by himself. Um, when you know a Tehran is not up there, you can play a lot more angles, play a little bit more aggressively, which means like if a Valor shoots you and you shoot him at the same time, you could pump another shot and get down. You're not worried about being hit. Right, but you can still hit you can still hit a good number of angles too from the Thrawn being up there. I don't think it's all doom and gloom. But at least we got to watch it. I mean, D, this is typical where we're kind of just waiting to see what decoy is going to do. They're trying to gain information. They just see Dodger Blue there. They're probably like Tehran's up the hill. There's no way in a semifinals game he he doesn't make the climb, right? Like it's all process. Yeah. And, and we're seeing how we're going. We got pings going all over the place. I don't know what pings I'm saying, but pings all around the B cat. Paz is spotted. Yeah, Bob's going. One's got nobody to spot Bob. I don't know. He just went and backed up. Yeah, you can go. I mean, Bob can go now. Now's the time to go before Sick Desires moves up. I mean, I guess Decoy says, hey, we got more time. Let's see where they are. But, like, the IS-7, the Tehran... The Chieftain, the other IS-7, nobody on one is in a position to reset bait. Not one of them can reset bait if he gets behind that crane. They're going to have to come up to these ramps. And it's good to see Dips is coming back. The Sauce Man moved up. I don't know why I keep calling him the Sauce Man. But I guess we're just going to go with that. So they got two Chieftains on the, on the right. They got uh, the Type 5 on the left and the E4 in the middle and the Batch out on the outside. This is pretty good coverage, and you got the 50B all the way back there protecting the Chieftains if they get YOLO'd. Pretty good coverage. Here comes one. Now, one isn't going to be able to reset from the ramp on over here at, like, F, F whatever this is, F5. Yeah. So they are going to have to commit into these Chieftains. And when they commit into these Chieftains, this 50B should pop off. It looks like Santi is going to try to probably flank behind the Chieftains. 
which isn't the worst call, but they're going to have to commit. I would like to see decoy chiefs and save your health. Don't trade with a type five heavy, or if they're going to keep winning their trades, continue to trade with type five heavy. What do I know? They spotted Santee, good spot from, from Snowdog. Snowdog can clip him in this angle. He's going to eat one. He's not going to eat another one. Another right, fire. Snowdog's going to pop a reload and he, come in. He got cause on fire. I mean, this is just crazy at this point. Oh, dips? No, B Sauce got it. Sauce hit him oh, and lit him on fire. Man. Yeah. Oh, dips pinned him too. Kaza just lost his whole tank. Oh, one's good, coming good in here. reset by Santee. I mean, Papa Snowdog needed to be in a position to clip this. The only problem with Snowdog coming up behind him, this is a great flank by Snowdog. It really he is. Get a reload. He can't kill him. Right? Yeah, no, that was nice a perfect flank. Nice to see the bad chat come and help him. Yeah, bad but I mean, coming. you know, Papa's he's bad safe chat here. Bad should not make that crawl. Oh, they killed the type before the bad chat crawls. That's a big kill. Wow, so one of the chieftains pinned this guy. Or maybe Bob got a shot in. Nice, that's a good kill. Super D and Mega D holding it down on this ramp. Big kill. Good shot by Bob, even though he got reset. The sauce <laughs> man's coming and doing some damage. Oh. Dips way too aggressive here. Way too aggressive here from Dips, I think. Kind of realizes it. They're backing off vitals. If Dips can get safe now, probably gonna eat another one from size. Oh, we bounced. Oh, and Dips pinned them. Dips are just pinning shots. The Sauce Man is pinning the lower plate of the chief that went the little guy. He is pounding this. Just, he is pounding him. Dude, he's him. pounding him. He didn't even shoot at the real gun. Sauce just oh, doesn't he's care. Him off with the big gun. Oh, my. That's a Sauce style right there, hey, dude. Little gun, big gun down. Those were some perfect rotations out of decoy there, man. Like, that was very well done. Very I well mean, done. They didn't, I mean, they set it up very correctly. They had every angle covered. And I think not having a guy on that F6 ramp that I pointed out, it, it's tough to, yeah. to reset that B then, right? You're really committing. Um, they only set one guy to flank to get the reset over there, and he was able to, you know, the Chieftains kind of figured out they can kind of shoot him <laughs> over there. But let, let's get this uh, oh, going before. Chat, uh, chat just got through watching the flip. <laughs> oh. oh, man. And, uh, all right, so let's get over this before we get locked out here. Yeah. Uh, we got Dips in his, in his E4, really good Ghost Town series out of Dips. One yeah. kill, 3,400. Uh, Super D4 kills, 3,000 on that ramp, just blocking him. Mega D and his Chief did one kill, 2,700 damage. That's a lot of damage from that one ramp. You got Bob, who actually went to the cap, handed out 2,400 damage. Uh, the other type, the Sauce Man over there, one kill. 2150, pretty good game out of him. Papa Snowdog really probably only got that one clip off. Yeah. Um, trying to block that guy, then got behind him. Ooh, and look, he bounces. And Airstorm really wasn't able to do anything. Would have liked to see him kind of be a little bit quicker get into Papa Snowdog, but uh, 750 at him on the side of one, that's all you. Yeah, and over on uh, one, we've got Reform Weezy in the Taren with one kill, 1653. Just wasn't able to make that climb. Um, we got Dodger Blue in the Chieftain with 1606, Kaz in the IS7 with 1462. Idol in the uh, Valor with 12.21. Saint in the I-7 with 9.26. Sick Desires in the I-7 with 9.09. And just rounded it out with uh, the Type 5 with 8.55. So good round for uh, Decoy here. And that's going to put him up too, 5 to 3 here. I think uh, we only need one more. And I do believe this is going to be, um, let's see, this is going to be one's pick, yeah? Yeah, kind of surprising to see them go with Westfield. Um, now, to be fair, uh, actually, I I don't think it's a surprise. I really think, I really think one is playing more competitive against Decoy on the larger maps tonight, on um, the smaller oh, rally yeah. maps. I mean, Decoy's definitely working maps. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I, I, I think this is a good pick. But yeah, I mean, uh, Decoy looked a little. I will say this. Um, in that CTW, yes, it's different rules. They looked a little off. I think on Westfield a little bit. Decoy did. Yep, yep. Um, so maybe that's maybe that's kind of their thought process here. But you're also running out of the maps by now, too. Yeah, I mean, this is the last one. So, I mean, um, you're going to go potentially tie break, right? But if, you know, uh, we'll see. Decoy's just got to get it together and get one more victory here. Um, I think uh, I think this is a good pick for, for one, though. I think this is going to be very well for them. Yeah, I don't like to see over Tom. 
<laughs> Keep it going. Oh, man. Well, last couple of matches were good. Close, I mean, little tiny things, right? Like, one guy staying alive on 50. Like, it's so weird. You know, I was kind of thinking, I was thinking in my head, I'm not going to lie, like, when those CSs pushed on prof for decoy, I was like, that could blow the whole series. Yeah. Right? And then, and now, I'm thinking, you know, one kind of just not being able to get dips out, kind of maybe getting a little ahead of themselves. Because uh, the first, like, the first ghost town, they shouldn't be. The first ghost town, one should have won. Right? You know? Like, they, they really caught them off guard. They made that cross. They took 400 damage for for essentially making oh, no. a match yeah. and not able to play. Yeah, well, like, they took 400 damage. They took that spot. And what that spot did, it made the batch had irrelevant for the time being. And they pretty much killed the 50 big. And they were just farming decoy and then you know you see an ammo rack and two fires and it still was super close i think just the little tiny things have not been on the side of one and sometimes that's how it goes right but that's you know that whole one match you know if, if that first ghost town goes one's way what well, we're tied right so yeah and i mean decoy it, got the pick side here it's been it's been you know most maps have kind of been lopsided, but we'll see what one has, what one does here, and they're going with DBR again. Decoy's going to attack Decoy with no light attack. Tank. Yeah, I was just going to say that. So. Interesting. And so getting right into this one, we got on the side of Decoy. We got a VZ, two Chieftains, Batch Hat, three CSs on the side of one. We got two Chieftains, Valor, Kronvog, an IS-7 EBR, and a Tehran. So no medium tanks from one which is kind of how they uh like i said before they're pretty big on um they go really really heavy they usually bring a light tank one Tehran, and they uh all heavies which can be really strong can really hurt you right i think you kind of saw when the ebr you know uh, it, it can hurt you We'll see how this one plays out. It looks like DBR is going to go spot the hill. They're going to put an IS-7 in a typical K line. It looks like Dodger Blue is... Is he going up the hill or is he trying to play the inside? And Decoy is going full blast up the hill. Now, if you're one, these Koi, Decoy's lineup screams, we're trying to take a fight. We don't have a light tank to cap, right? Yeah, yeah. This EBR just spotted everybody. Any hit, hit, hit shot. Yeah, I don't know if even shooting there was even worth it for him, but I guess he's saying it is now. It's risky, but he made it work. But they're coming. Now, the problem with this is is that one's not going to go up there. They're just going to sit back. Yeah. Now, ironically enough, when I uh, scrimmed decoy this uh, this week, I pretty much did this. <laughs> right? I just sat all the way back. I know. It was kind of funny. all my heavy tags. But... So we'll see how this plays, but this also plays. It's going to be harder for them to get on cab with the EBR and the thing. They're going to have to rotate the medium tanks right away. They're probably they going to pull them up there to like C zero. He's going to get them spotted on the way out. Yeah, but there's nobody to shoot them. I mean, you if you're one, you know they're going there, right? Like you can't take these heavies and push into the hold down heavies anyway. So it doesn't really matter if he gets spotted. They're actually what decoy is doing from reading over the map. All looked like they were sending a medium tank to E6 to kind of spot him, but not. They're just going. They yeah, they're just spotted. Desires did get spotted back. I don't know, he must have shot. Yeah, I don't know. I, I wasn't looking at him directly whenever he got lit. I don't know if he could shot. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. But like I said, it's not really a big deal. Like you know they're going to end up going there anyway. Like well, they're they're Hesh and the Kron. Well, Sauce is. Sauce ain't messing around. Sauce ain't messing around. Man. What's kind of interesting is that, um, like, if one just would have one medium tank to even do damage as they cross, like, they're just giving Decoy this whole side. I don't know about this, man. Like, you're giving Decoy pretty much the whole map to work with, and I think usually if you give a good team the, uh, the best, um, you know the whole map to work with you know uh, yeah, it's it's tough to come back from that now to be fair decoy does let the clock run down a lot which can hurt them but 
I don't know. It really depended on this light tank to like. Eventually, you know, decoy's gonna say, well, there's nothing behind him. They're really setting up over here on the other side. They're bringing two medium tanks on the bottom. Super D's gonna put just push out this light Sick tank. Sick might take damage here. He is. He's gonna take damage yeah, here. Yeah, well, there's nothing. There's nothing to punish this. Like, there's nothing to punish Super D from pushing this guy out. This is what I'm saying. Like, there's no medium tanks on one. Like, there's there's nothing that can oh, be there. Oh man, so many misses. That that thing He's is dead. hard to hit. He's dead. No, that's he, not that's hard. To, well, yeah, one is very hard to hit. Two, it's just hard to kill because it's just absorb shots and trash. Thing's stupid. Yeah, he got and out. Like, and I'll be honest with you, I, I do, in my personal opinion, I do feel like LT is just a better overall light tank for like handing out damage, spotting, being quick. You know, I, I wouldn't take an EBR, but watching this EBR play today, I've I've seen a million misses and a million track things. One's trying to push this top. Well, like I said before, you're gonna take damage just pushing at the heavies. They did end up rotating the VZ out, but you're still pushing at the two all down chieftains. To be and, fair uh, though, they, about your EBR comment, sick. Sick Desires is playing that thing like really well. I mean, really. Oh well. yeah, there's no, there's no doubt about it. But at the end of the day, if you got nobody behind you to stop the CS from pushing you out, it doesn't matter. Right. You know, like he's playing it really well. But at the end of the day, like he's given one yeah he did vision in the world. But Kron's got shots now. Speed, yeah, yeah, he's also eating it. Is here with a clip. They got him out. They got him out. Yeah, well, he's sideways. He's not even playing hold down. No. Sauce Man's coming in. Sauce Man's time to play. Nobody really took hits for Mega D. Sauce Man was full health. And Dips was full health. But they they got this medium tank over here. Airstorm just farmed the whole clip of damage, it looked like. And Kaz is all by himself. They'll eat EBR damage. See, this is the other thing, like, yeah. You know, how much damage is EBR really going to do here? Right? He's just ate another shot. Yeah, Kaz is going to go I down here real quick. I think, I think once Kaz goes down here, I think that's it. Yeah, it's, there's not a lot one can do here to, to clean this up. I mean, no, I mean, you gave him the whole map. Yeah. You know, like. I mean, maybe they can get lucky and get a couple of ammo pops, but, it, you know, we're talking luck, luck. I don't like to be the guy that says, "Oh, it's over." But yeah, I mean, they over. they in theory, I mean, yeah. they could bring it back, but you, you can't. It, it's just a damn thing. Like this is a big giant open map, right? Like the mediums can just go to the other side again, right? Like, like one pushed into hold down heavies because they couldn't counter the other side. Right? Yeah. You know, like you can't. You know, like. You know, D decoy, you know, like Super D was ever calling or somebody on that side says, oh, it's a light tank. Well, we spotted the heavies. What can be behind them? Nothing. Maybe it's Iran. They just push them out, right? Like an EBR can't stop one tank. Like he literally just got pushed all the way out by one tank. And, you know, you got to have something behind your light tank to, to negate that. For sure. It's tough to win huddled in a corner of a man. Now, to be fair, if, I mean, I guess they could if they really bleed them, but I think one should have just stuck to their guns and really just camped that instead of pushing into that because Chiefs tend to do a lot of damage when they're hold down and you're pushing into them, right? The Kronvog, and I think Kahneman in this play, he really ended up not sitting hold down and just eating it. I think there's better tanks for that spot too, in my opinion, but... Yeah, that's a hard that's a hard peak for a cron. You can't really stay hold down and get shot. Well, I mean, not on the guy that he was shooting. I mean, he he had to pull way up here to get that guy. His yeah. entire lower is exposed. Yeah, he he's right in the lower play all day. That was a that was a pretty good shot there. Decoy's gotta like make this happen though too. Yeah, they got two minutes. I mean, I've seen some crazy matches today. You know, watching you know one play in today, it was it was a pretty crazy match on Miro there. All right, they got the bad shot on. I don't know if it's they the greatest spot. I really think they should just slide dips on. Yeah, he's gonna get on. I still don't want him to do. Yeah, he's like riding the edge, and it wasn't counting him. <laughs>
Bad chat got lit. Oh, wow, Weezy's going wild. Tehran mask. Maybe if the Tehran hits that bad chat and Airstorm dies, this is maybe more plausible, but. Oh, Dips? Dips took a hit from the Valor. Dodger Blue. What happened to Dodger Blue's health? Uh, he was exposed and trying to spot the cap and was taking shots from the Chieftain. I mean, they've got one minute here to get this done. I think they're going to do it. They got two. You know, they got a minute 40. Yeah, a minute 40. They just kill Dodger Blue, and then they just six six man rush an IS-7. We've seen decoy fail on an IS-7 rush, but I think if you bring six tanks, okay, Sauce Man's going in late game. Oh, he Sauce just Man. came over on him, yeah. Oh, Sauce Man's just in his face. Sauce played well tonight. I got to give it to him. That guy was, every chance he had, he was pumping damage. That's going to take it for Decoy. Decoy is going to... Um, Decoy De advances to the finals. Yep, Decoy goes to finals, takes out one in the semis, and it's going to be uh, Decoy versus Immortals in the finals of NA1 or NA League 1 in Calamity. Well done to Decoy. <clears throat> we'll go over the scoreboard here before we wrap it, though. Yep, well, the last match we got... I almost forgot what you said something. On the side of uh, Decoy, you got uh, Mega D, 2,500 damage in his Chiefs, and Dips, two kills, 2,300 damage in his VZ. Uh, Sauce Man, one kill, 2,250. Then you got Air Swimmer's Batch up, four kills, 2,200 damage. Uh, Papa Snow Dog in his CS, 1,900 damage. Super Dean in his CS, 1,900 damage. And then you got Bob in his CS, 1,500 damage. Just everybody played. You, they just yep. gave him the whole map. And they that was a great game. Tanks. That was a great game uh, for Decoy. Side of one's all you. Wow, EBR did some damage. <clears throat> he did, yeah. Sick Desires in the EBR 105, 2249. That guy's good in that tank. You can't deny it. Kaz in the Chieftain with one kill, 1849. Jester DC in the IS-7 with 1534. Dodger Blue in the Valor with 1469. Saint in the Cron, which just wasn't able to stay hold down, uh, 1230. Otto in the Chieftain with 441. And the Tehran coming in with another goose egg here. Um, so congratulations to uh, to Decoy for you know progressing on to the uh, to the finals, and GG's to one. You know you, uh, I think they yeah. So they're gonna move on to the I guess I don't know if, I don't guess it's really a losers bracket whatever it's called, but they're gonna play. Well, they play um, for third place. Yeah, they're gonna play for third place versus RL. Um, I don't know when that'll happen. I'm assuming next week. So we'll uh, we'll try to grab that if we can. Uh, obviously, chat will not be streaming the finals. Um, I'm on Immortals, so won't be streaming that. I'm sure Tank Killer or Beaver. I'm pretty sure Beaver's going to grab that, so be sure to uh, to be looking out for one of those guys. Maybe our mods could give them a couple shout-outs uh, so you guys can you know go follow those. Um, and then, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one. I'll try to grab uh, the RL1 game. I don't know if that's going to happen, not going to happen. We'll uh, we'll see. Other than that, we might try to uh, to pick up some EU games here moving forward. I know we got some EU tournaments going. Uh, GTL's fired back up amazingly, so we may try to grab some GTL games. Um, but yeah, it's been uh, it's been a blast. Tubbins, thanks for joining me during this tournament. I really appreciate having you here, buddy. Hey, it's all good matches tonight. Glad to be here. Yeah, absolutely. This was a phenomenal game, and we went six to three, and it and it happened so fast. We got, you know, yeah, we got really it done in less than two. Ghost Town. Yeah, yeah, that was tough. The whole so. series kind of swung on that one. But hey, we got a really good clip out of that match. Um, that that's funny. So. Uh, yeah, congratulations to Decoy. Gambit, I know you're listening. Congrats, and uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Y'all take it easy. Yeah, I hate to say it, Gambit. I don't know, man. You might want to take off next week, too. If yeah, good. yeah. team played good without the collar. We're just saying. That's not good. <laughs> All right, y'all take it easy. Have fun. Hey, Noodle. Let me take him out. Like a ticket time bomb, we about to blow. And I wipe out the ops like an obstacle. Line them all up like dominoes. Then we watch them all fall like Geronimo. Brain like tanks, cause we on a roll. And we got more rounds than a pot of gold. Catch more shells than Galapagos. No safe landings in a war zone. That's real. We got sauce, no tartar. And I drop bars, that's fact. We got a clan behind them, they diabolic. They always got his back. They'll drop a hater, cause clutch kings don't tolerate disrespect. I'm too official, like a ref whistle. Move out, get hit with the tech. My brother Noodle, he number one. He taking over, he blasting off. Y'all clowns ain't going up, y'all stagnant. Y'all vision flawed, I flipped the bird like Tony Hawk We serving shots and it's on the rock Noodle stream really one to one If you hating, use a hoe Like a ticket time bomb, we about to blow And I wipe out the ops like an obstacle Line them all up like dominoes Then we watch them all fall like Geronimo Brain like tanks cause we on a roll And we got more rounds than a pot of gold Catch more shells than Galapagos